The night was tranquil for those who spent New Year's Eve and crossed into 2024 at church or at their homes. However, the same could not be said for those who were looking forward to dancing the night away into the new year as they could not find a better spot for a countdown. The police were hard at work closing clubs that did not have special permits to operate beyond the late hours and made sure that no area on the streets was crowded. That, however, did not deter the youth as the countdown was done in front of a local outlet while the police waited to disperse the crowd a few moments later. <laughs> Excited on the first day of 2024, the Oshuarongo residents shared their plans. I feel so good. By making it to 2024, I just arrived and um, the plan are a lot. I'm trying to be a better person than I was yesterday, the day before and the other day. Thankful to God that we're here and uh, my plans going forward are just to keep being consistent on the main plan. The plan is always the same, so, you know, try and create uh, jobs in the region. We're always trying to create business opportunities. I feel very scrumptious right now, you know. I feel very nice. No, I made it into 2024 by God's grace, and which I'm very thankful about. My plans same. Wanna wanna make money. Wanna support local business. That's all my plans. The police festive season operation, which started on the 17th of November, will continue until the 17th of this month. Evelyn Polis, NBC News, Oshawa Rongo.